Well, this video is going to kind of be a little all over the place, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully you enjoy it. We do some work on that rim that everybody keeps questioning the head in the corner. Um, I get a little bit of practice doing some welding, some aluminum. And uh, we go for another little blast in the Jeep. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy. Flashback. All right. Well, I have a friend of mine had a bunch of props that he wanted to try to get fixed up. <clears throat> so I feel it's the perfect opportunity to uh, try to get better at uh, welding aluminum. So <clears throat> my plan is to mirror off these because you can see that they smack stuff and they get kind of goofed up. So especially this one. Look at that sucker. So we'll do a cardboard template and we'll try to build these up hopefully improve my aluminum welding skills a little bit and then we go from there some of these get a little hammered out so I guess I'll kind of try to hammer dolly it out a little bit get her back into shape and uh, then we start welding on them Ooh, this one looks better
Well, the first one's like done. I kind of zip through everything. It's it's not bad. It's not perfect, but you're kind of getting what you pay for, I guess. <laughs> and I get practice at it. <clears throat> this one's like it's coming along. I'm getting into a good groove. Doesn't look pretty. That's why we got to grind it down. But they don't look all speckly and all screwy. So um, the torch was just getting hot. I had to go back to my air cooled because my water cooler system doesn't work for junk. So I'll have to uh, actually pony up the money and buy a proper pump. I think my tank is okay. It's just I don't have enough pressure going through my line to do the water cool. You can tell when the torch starts getting a little warm. She ain't working so good no more. I think I just had it rigged up to a pony pump, but it just is not getting the pressure needed through there. So anyways, I had to wait for this to cool down. Now we're back at it, so we're just going to try to get these. We won't get them probably perfect. We're going to do not bad, and then we're just going to kind of do an even all the props similar. At least that's how I do it, or I'm going to do it anyways. Do a little more build up there. But I'm trying to get into a groove where I can just, yeah, smash along, get them semi close to what I had here as my rough outline so you can see I got a ways to go here I'm gonna build that one up I don't think these are all perfect so you can kind of see this is not too bad but hopefully I can get about most of this before my torch gets too hot and we got to start all over again let her cool down and go again Well, not the prettiest, but I'm pretty sure once I uh, hit her with the old Red Fury there, she's gonna, she'll pretty up a little bit. So let's polish this up and I don't know, we'll call it good. We got some practice, although this isn't very dirty. This is actually kind of nice once you get the idea what's going on, but anywho, I'll leave, uh, I'm not going to let this drag on. <laughs>
Well, I guess I've been putting this off long enough. Right, buddy? Have I been putting this off? Hmm? So I guess this must be just a weird rim or something, so we kind of have to fix it. We don't have much choice. They're oddball size, so... Anyways, yada yada. She's rotten. Uh, I guess the tube must have leaked and then all the calcium got in there and kind of buggered the rim up. My brother had another rim, but it's like... It's much bigger than this one. I'm hoping I can take what I need out and kind of get it to the rough shape that this is. Because I don't know if it's going to work, but I got it, so I'm blindly going to cut it out. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to blow out that's rotten. I'm going to come down into this lip, just a hair. I might have to over, I don't know. I'll have to think how I'm going to do this part. But I might just slice it in the lip, come up, come around the bottom. I'm hoping these are kind of the same. And uh, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start cutting, and we'll see if I can make this work. <laughs>
Well, I really wonder why I put that off so long. That only took like an hour and a half to do. Okay, what did I do? I cut that out, basically give you the rundown. I cut that out, it was not exactly the same bend. You can see it's starting to curve out. So I had clamped it and I was just beating it in place. Amazingly, that worked, so that was good. And then I pretty much just cut, butt welded it in. Uh, I didn't cut enough of the other rim, so I had to add a little piece into the back. Like yay. But I believe it should be good. I didn't do the flat plate, but it is a tube going in there, so whatever. I just drilled a new hole. Uh, like, it's not pretty. A lot of people will say there's a better way to do it, and yeah, there probably is. But this being what it is, it's just for, uh, you know, a farm tractor. This is a, probably already a high-tech fix, realistically. So anyways, we cleaned it up. There's no rough edges. There's going to be a tube in there, and if you judge by this, if this doesn't cut the tube up, what I just shaved down is definitely not going to break it, so... <laughs> I don't know. As far as a lot of farm repairs go, this one's pretty good. I'm not going to dress or do anything over here. I'll just spritz a bit of paint on it, and that'll be it. Uh, I guess I'll bring it down to the farm, and you can throw it back on the tractor. And I guess I'll show you what the tractor is that's going on. I don't know anything about tractors really, but other than it starts and it does what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know my models or any of that stuff. If I was smart way back, I would have got into them because they're a lot cheaper than building cars. You can do a full resto on one of these things for not a lot of money. Anywho, I think that's good. We'll get every little touch of paint, call her a day, clean up my mess. So we just threw the old tomatoes down for the chickens. And I'll get the cages after they finish actually picking through all this stuff. This is not cooperating very well. <laughs> <laughs> it 
so that rim that I had fixed was actually for this tractor here. Uh, don't know much about him. A Massey Ferguson 25, whatever it is. But it does need some transmission work here yet. Uh, the shifter is kind of broken, so you'll have to daddle with that. I don't know if that's something you folks actually like to see anything worked on, but could always do that. I'd probably still be either doing it or helping, but anywho. In case you were wondering what the wheel was for, that is what it's for. Tonight's plan is to get the kids to dismantle this motor for me so we can throw the block into the scrap. So, gonna wait for them to show up and we're gonna tear this sucker apart. <laughs> <laughs> 